Hello guys, uh, my name is James and today I'll be going over how to extract elements of a list in c -list using car and coda. This tutorial is meant for beginners in c -list. For those of you out there who already advanced c -list programmers, you might already have your own way of doing this. I myself am a beginner in c -list. Uh, but The reason I do this tutorial is because I personally had a very hard time extracting elements of a list, uh, extracting atoms and lists from a list and I found a better way to do it and that is why I'm doing this tutorial for this tutorial I'm assuming you have some prior uh, experience or at least some introductory uh, course material on CLIS therefore I'm not going to go over the basics I will probably do another video on the basics of CLIS uh, CLIS is probably not the most common language out there uh, it is different from Java uh, in the sense that uh, one way it's different is the function call, uh, the method of function call. In Java, you usually have the function name and then opening parentheses and the parameters separated by commas. Uh, in C Lisp, however, it is different in the sense that you do not have, you have the opening parentheses first, the function name, and then you have the parameters, which, by the way, are not separated by a comma. Again, this tutorial is meant for beginners. So let's just get right into it. We're going to set an identifier to hold a list. So there we go. So now the identifier L has a list that is in this structure. All right. So now the challenge is to extract uh, elements of this list using car encoder. Uh, some of you prefer to use first, last, which is fine. I really, I never really got into using that before. But car encoder works fine for me because I could, I could just look at the list and get the element that you want. There are some rules that uh, you have to apply as you try to extract this element. For example, let us try extract the G. Let's try extract G from this list and have it display on the screen. Right. So this is how we're going to do it. When you want to extract the element, first of all, you want to call a car, for in this case, for this G. So it's like I'm calling car and I'm kind of crossing out this G. So this car is represented by this G represents this car so to speak I guess you can think of it that way that's how I think of it sometimes and then after you write the call for the G you want to traverse backwards you want to traverse from this G or from the element that you want to extract you want to traverse backwards like this all right the next thing we encounter after the G is the closing parentheses for closing parentheses you want to write a coulda right and when you encounter a closing parenthesis you want to skip the whole entire list that this closing parenthesis closes so from here you want to skip this whole entire list up until this point but you're not going to call you're not going to use this opening parenthesis you're just going to continue to rest backwards from this point right so closing parenthesis skip and then traverse backwards so the next element we encounter actually is a C. For, for symbols or numbers, if you encounter a symbol such as a C or a number such as a 4, you want to call cutter. So next thing we're going to type is cutter. And then continue traversing backwards. Next encounter is a closing parenthesis. So again, we're gonna call the closing. We're gonna call cutter for the closing parentheses and skip the whole entire list up until here. Now, when we get to the end of the list, you do not want to consider the opening parentheses here. 
you just want to ignore this this uh, opening parentheses right so once you get to this point and you get and you and you are at the beginning of the list you do not use this opening parenthesis you, you ignore it all right so at this point we can just say L and this should give us G okay now let us try extract the F using the same rules that I just went over all right so we're extracting the F so we're going to call car for the F next encounter is a closing parenthesis that is a cutout skip entire list skip this whole entire list and then continue traversing backwards next encounter is the opening parenthesis when you encounter an opening parenthesis you want to write a car for opening parenthesis with the exception of the very last opening parenthesis because you want to ignore this one right so at this point we'll, we call a car for this opening parenthesis right and then continue traversing backwards next encounter is a symbol C for symbols, we're going to call coder. Next encounter is closing parentheses. For closing parentheses, we want to call coder and skip the list. So we skip the list, we're back at the beginning, ignore the first opening parentheses, call L, and close this. And that gives us an F. And that's basically it. Uh, the only other thing I'll mention is if you want to extract, if you want to display an element uh, as a list, uh, or if you want to display a list beginning at a particular element or a particular symbol, what you do is you apply the same rules, but the, the difference is you do not write the car for that first uh, for that first element that you encounter. You just traverse backwards from from that point. For example, if you want to extract D E, all right? So starting at D. Just move back, opening parentheses, we get a car, another opening parentheses, we get a car, a symbol, that's a cutter, a closing parentheses, that's a cutter, jump entire list, we're back at the beginning, you don't, you don't, you ignore the first closing parentheses, and you close it, and you get the list DE beginning at D, and that's how you do it. That's how you do it. If you want to get the list, uh, if you want to get the list of opening parentheses D, E, and F, then you begin at this opening parentheses and traverse backwards. So you'd call car for this opening parentheses, this one, where the cursor is right now. Car, continue traversing backwards, coulda for the C, traverse backwards, coulda for the closing parentheses. Skip the list. Ignore the first opening parentheses. L. And that should give us D E F. Right. Some, something like that. And it, it works every single time. The good thing I like about this method is no matter how long the list is or no matter how confusing it is, you can always apply this rule and it will always give you the right result. So uh, rate and comment. Uh, let me know if there's anything you don't understand. This is uh, basically my first video, really. And my sound, I'm sorry if my sound is bad. I, uh, I apologize for the sound. Uh, but just read and comment and uh, send me messages if you want to uh, hear anything else. Uh, I will probably make another tutorial of the basics of uh, CLS. Uh, and that's, I think that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.